morning to tanning, bright and early today. Sun's not even up yet, but uh, I gotta move the uh, chicken fence. It's the third time waking up to snow in the month of April, which is really, really rare in my experience in Pennsylvania at least. Chickens are all done with their job. Uh, I've tilled all this up uh, the way that I want to with the broad fork. And today, uh, hopefully, uh, there's a couple loads of compost coming. So I got to make room for the truck to get in here. And uh, hopefully by this Saturday, uh, this garden will be ready to go. Okay, all done moving the fence. This is not its permanent location at all, but uh, probably even just for today. I don't know if you can see white fence on white snow, but there's just some extra space out here for them today. And then uh, basically I need enough space for a truck to drive through here. So that's why I had to move it. And then over here, last year I wheelbarrowed every every little bit of compost, but this year I'm gonna have the, the trucks just deliver it right onto the top of the beds where I want it, and then I won't have to move it nearly as far. Um, trying to get a little smarter this year. Let's work smarter, not harder, right? Walking the road for me. Just finished up a meeting at the Environmental Learning Center at Crooked Creek. Uh, there's a, a lot of cool stuff happening here. The sun's really shining. It's still pretty cold today, but uh, man, isn't this a beautiful place? Just imagine in the summertime when all this is blooming and they have a nice herb garden here and uh, lots of different cool stuff happening. So um, hopefully, maybe I'll have a video in the next couple months updating you on some of that stuff as it, uh, as it unfolds. But for now, I have a couple of the things that I wanna get accomplished today. A couple of the things I need to go pick up for a little project at the office. I feel like the vlog always shows me going to Walmart. I'm really not here that much. It's, I'm not, it's not that much. Always formula. Formula every trip. Well, that's it. Uh, that's the uh, final wall in my little uh, office uh, redecorating project that I've been on. And you can see it's Change Yourself. And so I uh, talk a little bit more about that, but I, I started with this one. Uh, it was Change the World. I have all my maps up there and that's truly the, the purpose. That's the reason that I believe that we're all on this earth is to be uh, people that would change the world. And then I put this one up, uh, Change Your City. 
uh, because you know I believe that if we're going to change the world, it starts here. It starts in our communities. It starts in our streets. And so our cities need to change each one individually if we're going to change the world and alter it to be a better place. And really, if we're going to change our cities, it starts right here. Change yourself. And see, we all have a decision to make every single day, uh, whether we're going to remain the same person that we were yesterday or whether we're going to try to become better than we were yesterday. The pictures that are up there are all pictures of people who were baptized in our church. And I believe that's the biggest and most lasting change that you can possibly make is to turn your life as an individual over to God. To admit that you can't do it yourself, that you're not going to get anywhere good on your own. Uh, that's the realization that I came to nine years ago uh, when I first gave my life over to God. And everything changed from that moment. Everything was different from that moment forward. And, uh, and I can't thank him enough. <laughs> I can't thank Jesus enough for saving me. See, the fact is, for me, I tried a bunch of different ways to change. I tried a bunch of different ways to make myself better, but none of them worked until I started a relationship with God. None of them worked until I repented. I turned away from my, the lifestyle that I was living, and I believed in Jesus Christ, and that's when everything changed for me. And so it started with this realization that I'm not good enough, that the way that I'm going is not going to lead anywhere good, that something inside me needs to change. You see, the fact is, is that the cities that we live in are just a reflection of the people who live there. And so the way that I see it, we have two options. Uh, we can either get rid of all the people and start with new people, or the people that live in our city can make a decision to change, to make a decision to be different. Each one of these people in the pictures made a decision to make their lives better. And so you have an opportunity today. You have a chance to make a change. You have a choice. So what are you going to do about it?